This video is going to introduce a nice little trick uh, when factoring a trinomial with which have no leading coefficient, or there's nothing in front of x squared. Okay, technically it's a one, one x squared, or a squared, or whatever the front term is. If it's a one in front, then the two numbers from the factors will always add to the middle term. You can almost do this mentally without having to go through the check as in detail. Now, it's important to note this trick only works if the leading coefficient is one. In other words, we have one x squared or one a squared at the beginning. If there's a number in front, we have to be a little more aware as we pick our numbers. But if we had something like x squared minus two x minus eight and we are looking for our factors, what we can do is ask ourselves, what's going to multiply to negative eight and add to negative two? You might notice eight is four times two. And if the four was negative, negative four and a positive two, that would multiply to negative eight and add to negative two. So, our factors are going to be x minus four and x plus two. We found two numbers that multiplied to the last term and added to the middle term. And those numbers went into our factors, x minus four, x plus two, and that fast and quick we are done. It makes factoring a little quicker when that leading coefficient is a one. So with the second example, we've got x squared plus seven x y minus eight y squared. We know the x times x is x. To get the y squared, we're gonna need some y's. But because the leading coefficient is one, we simply are looking for something that multiplies to negative eight and adds to seven. Well, eight is either two times four, but that's not gonna add to seven, or eight times one. Well, if we've got a negative one, eight times negative one is negative eight. Eight minus one is seven, so it must be eight and minus one. Positive eight and minus one y. We don't have to write the one, and we're factored to x plus eight y mi times x minus y. Again, this trick only works if the leading coefficient is one. If you don't like this trick, you can factor it by the other method and it still works just fine.